once the main source of news, the traditional newspaper is dying. In June 2020, more than 100 regional newspapers will go out of print across Australia as media giant News Corp cuts costs by closing some newspapers and sending others online. That's the changing times. Um, you go on a tram now, you don't see a bunch of guys with hats reading newspapers. You see a lot of kids on phones. Small regional communities across Queensland will be the most affected. We'll miss getting our paper. We will, because we don't have a computer. We don't have a computer, and that we're going to really miss it, yeah. We will. It was about 140 years ago that my great-great-great-grandfather, William Oswald Hodgkinson, started newspapers in both Rockhampton and in Mackay. Eli, this is him up here. So my entire adult working life, I spent working for regional newspapers. Um, and it wasn't until I was working in the Rockhampton office that I discovered that he was the first editor of the paper. That's your family and that's your family. He was a really interesting man. He was a politician and he was an explorer. And his journalism is actually what brought him into contact with Burke. And he went on the Burke and Mills expedition. And after the expedition, he settled in Queensland where he was an integral part in the creation of those regional newspapers. So newspapers were really important back then because they were the only source of information that communities really had. So there was a lot of money to be made in it. Now, not so much. Among the papers that will stop printing is the century-old Warwick Daily News. This masthead was formed in 1919, after the merger of the Warwick Argus, which launched in 1864, and the Warwick Examiner and Times, established in 1867. It was a big job to uh, set up the whole newspaper. Even in a local paper like Warwick, it took uh, five people on the shift to do the setting on a linotype to complete a whole newspaper. It's quite tiring actually when you sit here typing all day but at the same time it was an important uh, piece of machinery. This right from about 1870 to 1970 when it was made obsolete by computers. Print newspapers were an important historical record for readers like Kerry Gibson and her mother Pam Flesser who has collected clippings documenting family life for more than 70 years. This is a photo taken in 1947. I was five years old. I'm the second one there. The newspaper was, was everything years ago. There was no modern technology. So everything went in the paper. Here, you know, you've got a record and you can show people, look, I was in the paper. <laughs> It's a bit more special yeah. to be in the paper yeah. than just a picture. Just a photo that you put in an album and who would really see it? But everybody sees that. Mm. The 29 years before that, my father worked here and he worked here for nearly 50 years, which he's retired now. Oh, it's been pretty difficult. The amount of like hours and you put in and all the, over all the years and it's all coming to an end. Oh, I feel for the older people, the old generation there. Yeah. yeah, it's a big shock to the community. In Rockhampton, the news that their paper will no longer be printed will change the lives of these readers. I walk up to um, the news agency up the road and we just have a yarn of a morning. And unfortunately, because I now live alone, it's, it can probably be the only people I'll talk to that day. Um, so I, uh, I'll miss that, certainly. Just over the Queensland border, editor Susanna Freemark is producing the last edition of the Richmond River Express Examiner after 150 years in print. 
the paper ultimately is about the community because it's nothing without them. And I wanted as many faces in the paper for them. It, it felt like my parting gift. Just standing here together. Yep. I think it will take the next week when they don't get a paper to really feel it. I think that's going to be, um, I think it's going to be hard. Hmm. I would have definitely worked on that page. Sporting, social and cultural activities will really suffer because we relied on, on our local newspaper to keep us informed. You know, to know that there's not going to be a print run and an actual physical copy of what we've put together, that's a really sad thing. In Rockhampton, printers will oversee the final print run of the century-old Morning Bulletin, Mackay Daily Mercury, Fraser Coast Chronicle and Bundaberg Newsmail as these regional newspapers are put to bed for the last time. I've got a lot of memories and look back and think about the good times we're here and the good people that you work with. We're all going to have a few beers and think about our memories and pass on yarns, which will be great.